Unfortunately, Thor lost his beautiful hammer in the last Thor movie for Ragnarok. The goddess of death destroyed your hammer like a piece of glass. So I decided to make a new one. No, 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 I, I used to spin it really fast. It would pull me off the... Oh my god. Hammer, pull you off. I want to show you how I made this hammer with my 3D printers. Let's go. For this hammer, I used the files of The Broken Nerd, which are pretty damn good and I will link them in the description below. They are a work in progress as stated on Thingiverse, but I think they are quite well done. The only thing, the only detail which is missing is right here on the top of the grip. There usually is some emblems on the original hammer, but this looks as good as the original one. First of all, I had to print all of the parts of the hammer on my 3D printers. I used the Hypercube and I used the Prusa i3 Mark IIs. As a material I chose PLA, although I wanted to do something very special to the hammer, we will see later. I used Das Filament PLA and I used PLA from Joseph Prusa's shop and printed everything in 0.15 mm layer height and with about 10 to 15% infill only. So after printing the parts, of course, I had to sand everything smooth. I have done hit this by hand, I removed all the supports and I've put the parts together and put some car party on the seam lines of the two hammer parts. So there is almost no seam line visible on the parts. It doesn't look like it consists of two parts, which I think is pretty good. So after putting everything together and gluing everything together, I thought I'll do something very special. Thor's hammer usually is pretty heavy, not everybody can lift it, except the Vision I think and maybe Hulk sometimes lifted it and I've put concrete inside of the hammer. So this hammer is about 5.5 kilogram in total and I'm actually quite sweating a lot because this is really heavy to lift in one hand. Because I wanted to fill concrete inside of the hammer head I've put two steel rods inside of the grip and inside the hammer head to make a good connection from the grip to the hammer head. So you all so can lift it like this and it won't break off because the grip consists of two parts and is only gripped, uh, only glued to this top part right here. And if you wouldn't reinforce the grip towards the hammer head I think pretty sure this will break right here. I've put the concrete inside of the hammerhead before I wanted to finish the hammerhead because I didn't really knew if this would be working and I didn't want to ruin all the work. So I first checked it out if the concrete will fill the hammerhead, will be the PLA stiff enough to contain all of the cement and it actually is. I know that the grip is usually leather wrapped, but I couldn't really find a good leather which I would attach to the grip and which will kind of fill all the small gaps in and so I decided to use some usual tape which was brown. I wrapped the tape around the grip and covered also the finished metal elements which are on the grip and I then sanded the tape a little bit to give the tape a small roughness on the surface and to open the surface a little bit up. And after opening the surface up I applied some acrylic black paint which I thinned with water and I wiped down later on. So the acrylic paint after one day would soak into the tape a little bit and give this kind of weathered leathery look which I think came out pretty good. And as I have wrapped the tape kind of chaotic around the grip it looks like it's leather wrapped all the way. I used a X-Acto knife and took some time to cut out 
the metal pieces on the grip which were painted and sanded up front so that the grip would look as it has been wrapped and later the silver pieces have been attached over the lever. The pommel on top of the grip I also sanded and painted it silver and I used some brown leather belt which I found at the thrift store for one euro only and attached it through the pommel head and glued it together with some contact glue which is kind of flexible so it actually will hold something but you cannot lift the hammer by this grip because I really really highly doubt that this pommel which is only glued to the grip can hold the 5.5 kilograms of the hammer. To make the hammer look like it's a little bit worn and made of steel I used two coats of Philip for the plastic parts after the sanding then I used one coat of silver color and over the silver color I put on some acrylic paint which I thinned with water and brushed off with some paper towel. To give the weathering more depth I also applied some silver paste which is kind of waxy which you can dry brush on and this I also have brushed off with a little bit of a paper towel and over this I again put some black acrylic paint which I thinned with water. Just to give the hammer kind of a metalish shine and some black spots because this thing has seen some pretty good wars with some ice giants I think. For the ornaments I have really done the same. I, these, these are printed out um, as a single piece and I applied some black color, some silver color and some acrylic and also some waxy silver paste which you can dry brush on just so you think this thing has really been made by a blacksmith from Asgard. Every part of the hammer has been glued together with two component glue because I've bought some contact glue which is kind of flexible but for me the flexible uh, contact glue is not really feasible for the stiff parts it's more for the black leather belt or for the brown leather belt which is kind of flexible and holds the piece together. Here you can see the final hammer. I really like how it turned out. I really like the surface finish and the grip and also the pommel. If you want to see more details I have a time lapse at the end of the video you can enjoy. If you liked this video you can give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below the video. If you didn't like it please tell me what to improve and if you absolutely love it you can of course subscribe to my channel, check my Instagram, check my Twitter below in the descriptions and as always I want to thank you for watching the video, have a nice day and goodbye.
after applying the tape to the grip and weathering it, cookie.